Hi, my name is Ale, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use a Swift UI progress view to show the progress when downloading an image using URL session. With iOS 14, Apple introduced a new progress view for Swift UI, which is a view that shows the progress towards completion of a task. We're going to build a simple app that downloads an image from Unsplash, showing the download progress and displaying it once it's finished downloading. Let's start by adding some variables that we will need to keep track of the download progress of our image. The first variable we're going to add is a state variable at state private var, whose name will be progress and is of type double. Initially, the progress will be zero. We're also going to add a constant representing the total progress, private lit total, which is also a double, and this will be equal to 1. Now we're going to add three different state variables for the image download request and for storing the image that was downloaded. The first variable will be a URL session data task at state private var data task which will be an optional URL session data task. Now, we're going to add a key value observation variable, which we will use to observe the progress of the download task. At state private var observation, which will be an optional ns key value observation, and finally, we're going to add a variable to hold our downloaded image at state private var image, which will be an optional UI image. Now let's start working on the UI of our application. We're going to get rid of this text and we're going to add a vertical stack or V stack. Inside our V stack, the first thing we're going to add is a Z stack. And this is where we'll show the progress view if the image is still downloading or the image if we finish downloading it. So let's add an if statement here. If our image is nil, that is, we haven't finished downloading it, then we're going to add a progress view, which will show the text downloading image. Its value will be the progress variable and the total it needs to reach is 1 or the total constant that we defined. We're going to give it a style, progress view style, which will be linear progress view style. And finally, we're going to add some padding around it. So this is where we'll show the progress of our data task. Now, if the image is not nil, which means that we finished getting it, then we're gonna show it instead of the progress view. So in this case, we're gonna add an image from a UI image, and we're going to use our variable that we declared earlier. We can force unwrap it because we know it's not nil, and we're going to make it resizable. Great, so let's run our app and see how it looks right now. Great, so since our image is nil, we're able to see the progress view. And because our progress is zero, we see that the bar is empty. So now let's go back to Xcode and add a button that we can use to download the image. So after our C stack, we're going to add a spacer. And after our spacer, we're going to add a horizontal stack or H stack. And inside this H stack, we're going to have a spacer. And then we're going to add a button. For now, the action of this button will be empty. We'll add it later. 
And for the label, we're going to use an image. Image with a system name, which will be arrow dot clockwise. And we're going to give our button a font of large title. So let's run our app again. Great, so now we have the progress view at the top and the button at the bottom. Let's add some padding around our horizontal stack and see how this looks. Great, so it looks better. Now if we press this button, nothing happens. So now we're going to add the function that will actually download the image from Unsplash and display it in our app. So let's go back to Xcode and we're going to define a function called download photo. Private func download photo. Now we're going to create a URL which we're going to use to get the photo. Guard let URL be equal to URL from a string. I've already copied it, so I'm just going to paste it here, and I'm also going to add it to the video's description, so you can copy and paste it. So if we're able to create this URL, we're going to use it, otherwise we're just going to return. Now that we've created our URL, then we can create a data task. So we defined a variable that we're going to use to store this task. So what we'll do is data task will be equal to URL session dot shared dot data task with a URL and a completion handler. So let's use this initializer. We're, we're going to pass the URL that we just created. And for the completion handler, we're going to get three values. Data, which is the data returned from the URL, a URL response, and an error if something went wrong. So here we're only going to use the data for this tutorial. Data, and then we can ignore the other two values. So if we're able to get this data, then we're going to use it to create the image. So what we'll do here is, once we finish downloading the image from the URL, we want to invalidate or stop the observation that we're going to have to observe the progress of the download. So what we'll do here is call observation.invalidate. Now we're going to try and unwrap the data that we got from this request. Guard let data equal to data else return and if we're able to get this data then on the main queue we're going to create a UI image that we will use to display the image that we just downloaded dispatch queue dot main dot async image will be equal to UI image from the data Great, so this function will allow us to download the image and update our UI image object once it's finished downloading. And since image will no longer be nil, then we're going to see the image in our app. Now, besides downloading the photo, we also want to track the progress of the download so that we can update the value of our progress variable. And in turn, update the progress view that we're showing in our app. So to observe the progress, we're going to use a NS key value observation. So inside, inside our download photo function, what we'll do is we'll define what this observation is. So observation will be equal to data task dot progress dot observe and 
What we want to observe here, or the key path that we want to observe, is the fraction completed. And for our change handler, we are, we're going to receive two values, the progress and the observed change. We're only going to use the progress, so we can ignore the second value. So what we'll do here is add observation progress and we can ignore the second value. On the main thread, what we're going to do now is update the value of our progress variable so that in turn our UI is updated. Dispatch Q dot main dot async progress will be equal to observation progress dot fraction completed. Cool, so now we have our data task and we have our observation. What we have to do now is actually create or start this data task. So we'll do data task dot resume. Perfect. So now we're going to use this download photo so that when our app is opened, we can see the image being downloaded. So Below our vStack, we're going to use the onAppear modifier and the action we want to perform is download photo. So let's run our app again and see if we're able to see an image being downloaded and then displayed in our app. As you can see, the progress view advanced and once the image was downloaded, it was displayed on the app. Now, if we press this button, nothing's happening yet because we haven't actually added an action to execute when the button is pressed. So let's go back to Xcode and actually add an action for our button. So in our button, what we want to do is download a new image. But before downloading a new image, we want to make sure that any previous data task and observation is cancelled before we try to download a new image with a new data task. So let's add a function called reset private func reset and here what we're going to do is first cancel the previous data task if any and we're going to reset the progress to zero and finally, we're going to set the image to be nil. Now, in our buttons action, first we're going to reset the state of our UI, and then we're going to begin downloading a new photo. So let's run our app and see how it looks. So when our app is initially open, we're going to see that an image is going to be downloaded. And now we can press the refresh button and the UI is reset so that the progress is zero and the image disappears. And we're going to download a new image. And our view is updated. And we can press it again and we're going to reset the state and see a new image again. Great, so that's all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. If you want to learn more about iOS development with Swift and Swift UI, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I'll be posting new videos very soon.